Hello guys! So yes, I am makeup free in this video because I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I do my eyebrows. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so first I always start by plucking out the most obvious random hairs that are not going to really affect the shape of my eyebrow. So that's all I'm doing here is just plucking out the most obvious hairs. So here I put my finger down uh, just so I can imagine a straight line there. Then taking my pluckers, I kind of play with it and imagine the line with the pluckers. So I start kind of pulling down the hairs that I'm thinking about plucking out because those are the ones that are making my eyebrow look uneven. So I'll continue to play with it, making new lines, you know, pulling hairs back up, pulling hairs back down. And then once I'm, you know, see the hairs that need to come out, I just start plucking them. And since I've been doing it for so long, I don't need to leave the hairs pulled down. But if you're doing this for the first time, you may want to leave the hairs pulled downward that you know you're going to be plucking out. I don't ever do too much at the top of my eyebrow. I never get too close just because I don't want to mess it up. So I tend to just pluck out the hairs that are most obviously, you know, making my arch look weird or making my eyebrow look uneven. Then I just do the same thing to my other eyebrow. I'm just kind of doing, playing with it, pulling hairs down just to see what I'm going to pluck out. And again, I'm not getting too close to the top of my eyebrow, but you see that hair was super obvious, making my eyebrow look uneven, so I plucked it out. <laughs> and to polish up my eyebrows and make them look more sharp and not super, super thick, I do this by pulling hairs upward. I know people say you're not supposed to do it that way, but that's how I do it. And I just kind of trim the longer hairs that are kind of you know, really long and just like stick out too much, making my eyebrows look too thick. So that's pretty much all I'm doing here is just trimming the really long hairs and kind of going over the spots that I have smaller hairs that are harder to pluck out. And I go all the way around my eyebrow just to make sure that they look more polished and yeah, more, I guess, cleaned up. So for those who actually want to know why I'm making this video, um, I decided to make this video because I'm very... Okay, so I get lots of compliments, but my two most complimented features are my hair is number one, and then number two are my eyebrows. So... And a lot of people ask me all the time how do, how I do my eyebrows. So I figured I would make this little tutorial and show you guys. Um, fact number one, I do not go to the nail places or whatever. 
to get my eyebrows done. I've gotten my eyebrows done once in my life and that's whenever I was like 12 years old. They were getting a little bushy and out of hand so my mom took me to get them done. Uh, ever since then I have never gone back to do my eyebrows. I always do them myself with the magical tool I call tweezers <laughs> or pluckers, whatever. I call them both. I don't know if there's a difference or if I'm just an idiot and I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, yeah, I'll just show you these. So I just use these babies right here. They have gotten me through years, darling. So one of these things, I don't know the name of these either, I call them like facial hair things. <laughs> I don't know, it's like this little shaver thing, it looks like this. And that's it, that's all that you're gonna need. And some lotion, which I forgot to do mine, so I'm probably gonna just edit that in here. And voila, let me go get some lotion. I actually have to get up and get the lotion, otherwise I'll just snap my and edit that shit right in the screen, but I can't. <laughs> so today I present to you Vaseline uh, Intensive Care Aloe Soothe. And this is what we're gonna use to moisturize. Now I had already finished doing my brows, filling them and everything, so I'm gonna just edit this in that I usually remember to moisturize my eyebrows before I fill them in. But these are the areas that get a little dry after I do my eyebrows. So there you go guys. Uh, but again, yes, I do usually moisturize before I fill them in. My eyebrows are already filled in. So I'm just going to explain. So I do not use um, eyebrow gels or any of that new stuff girls use now. Um, I stayed old fashioned, granny over here, mommy over here, <laughs> and I prefer to just shade my eyebrows and I just want my eyebrows to look natural. So I stayed behind like in 2005 or whatever <laughs> and I still shade my eyebrows in using eyeshadow mainly but I also use bronzers whatever and as you could see whenever I filled my eyebrows in I used a bronzer and that's what I've been using for the past like year is a bronzer and my little brush that I stole from my mom a really long time ago and I never gave it back to her <laughs> thanks mom <laughs> so um yeah whenever I fill my eyebrows in I the bronzer that I showed you guys but I also wanted to show you guys another color it's in the Naked One palette mine's really old I know it's like falling apart and um, I used to use Buck and I still use Buck every now and then um, but yeah that's one of my favorite other favorite shades to do my eyebrows with um, my advice when choosing the shade you want to use if you this technique is I will choose definitely number one you want a matte eyeshadow number two a shadow lighter than your eyebrows you do not I would stay away from black if you can do not use black it will be terrible so um, yeah I would choose a matte lighter brown color to fill in your eyebrows and like I just said uh, one of my favorites and a good suggestion would be Buck from the Naked One palette or you could do what I've been doing and use the bronzer from the flushed uh, Naked Flush palette and I kind of like when I fill them in I use the brush to brush upwards and I brush in the opposite direction of the natural way my eyebrows go because I don't want my eyebrows to look super bold like on my like super modely like you know wow like out there but I also love them to look a little bit more wild than normal and I will have to like spike them back up kind of like brush them to look more wild and stuff throughout the day but 
typically whenever you brush them the first time as you do them, they usually stay looking like that for the most part for most of the day and yeah. But okay guys, so yes, I stayed makeup free for this video. I know I look a lot younger than I am, especially when I don't wear makeup, but the way I see it is whenever I'm 60, I'll look 20, so <laughs> I am mad at it because <laughs> people tell me all the time, you look like you're like 16. I'm going to age really well since I look, since I have like a youthful look to me. I'm going to be still looking young whenever I'm like 70 years old and stuff. No, <laughs> I hope. Let's hope, guys. Let's hope together. Okay, guys, I'm sorry I look kind of like bedhead and tired and dead and all that, but I really wanted to, you guys to focus on these brows, okay? I just wanted you to focus on this right here, okay? So, <laughs> uh, but okay, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.